All right, so we have another question from our members. So the problem is, given the GCD and LCM of two large numbers, we want to find the largest x such that x is not equal to the LCM, because it will just sim be simple, right? So what we want to do is we know that the GCD of the two numbers multiplied by the LCM will be the product of x and y. And so we know that the total will be 2 squared times 3 cubed times 5 squared times 7 cubed times 11 to the power of 6. And you know that one of the factors has to be the GCD because we want the minimum of x and y to be greater or equal to this number. So that will be 5 times 7 times 11 cubed and the other would be the LCM here. So what we want to do is we want a greater number after this pair such that it has to be lower than LCM because that's the LCM, right? And that's the GCD. So we're going to bring some over, some factors over. So the next one would be 2 times 5 times 7 times 11 cubed and the larger one will be 2 times 3 cubed and so on. Now the problem with this is you have a 2, 5, 7 and 11 cubed but I have also 2 3, 5, 7, 11 cubed. That means this number on the left is a divisor of the one on the right. So you can't pick this one as an answer because if you use these two pairs as x and y, the y will be a divisor of x. So therefore the lowest common multiple for these two pairs would be this number on the right. But we want the LCM to be this number. So we have to have divisors on the y such that it's that divisor does not appear in x. Well, let's look at the smallest ones we can do, right? If we take out the 3 cubed, 3 cubed is 27. But 2 squared is 4. So 4 is a much smaller number. So if I bring 4 over, there's no 4 here. So I do 2 squared times 5 times 7 times 11 cubed. And then that will be 3 cubed times 5 times 7 squared times 11 cubed. Therefore, these two will give you the above GCD and LCM. And the X is not equal to the LCM. And you can check, right? Because these X and Y's have the divisors of the LCM and the GCD is also included in each of these. So therefore, the solution will be 3 cubed times 5 times 7 squared times 11 cubed.